This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, welcome to our day 15 training session of learning Oracle Golden Gate Classic Architecture Training. My name is Ashish, Ashish Agarwal and I will be delivering this lecture to you. So before commencing the session, just a quick round of update regarding my YouTube channel which is youtube.com slash Ashish Agarwal underscore GG. So if you haven't visited the channel, I would request you to do visit the channel and do like, share and subscribe the channel. The channel is dedicated to Golden Gate related videos. Thank you. So the day 15 session agenda, today's session includes data manipulation using Oracle Golden Gate and parallel replicate we'll discuss. So first let us discuss about parallel replicate and then we'll move to the exercise which we discussed about, which we were discussing in the previous session. So parallel replicate is one of the new features introduced in Oracle Golden Gate 12 CR3. So Oracle Golden Gate parallel replicate has been introduced from Golden Gate version 12.3.0.1. So with Golden Gate performance, so, so Golden Gate performance is basically dependent on type of extract and replicate you are using. So with the introduction of integrated extract and integrated replicate, the performance of Golden Gate was introduced significantly. Now with the introduction of parallel replicate, which is one of the new feature of Oracle Golden Gate, the performance of Oracle Golden Gate has now gone to the next level. So parallel replicate is one of the new feature. It is one of the replicate of Oracle Golden Gate environment. Now parallel rep replicate is highly scalable apply engine for the Oracle database that can automatically parallelize the apply workload and take dependencies between transaction into account. So what it does is it, in parallel replicate your multiple mappers and appliers run. So what do we mean by mappers and applier? So if you look at the replicate, if you look at the replicate, view param rep int 01 so what happens in in this replicate you see you give map what does map do it reads the data from the local trail and this applies the data to the target table so this part is done by mapper reading the data from the local from the remote trail and writing data to the target database or applying data to the target database is done by the applier so mapper and applier does the task for you now in golden gate parallel replicate what happens is you can run multiple mappers so multiple mappers means th they will read the data from the remote trail similarly multiple appliers are going to apply the data to the target database okay so this is what parallel replicate does so you can run multiple mappers and appliers so so one of the major question with parallel replicate which we receive is what happens for the long running transaction so what parallel replicate does is it automatically parallelize the apply workload and take dependencies between transactions into, into account so whatever dependencies are there those are taken into account and there is no loss of data or, or the data which gets applied all the dependencies are taken care so parallel replicate provides all the benefits of integrated replicate by performing the dependency computation and parallelism outside of the database. So parallel replicate has all the benefits of the integrated replicate. It parallelizes the reading and mapping of the trail file which is done by mapper and provides the ability to, ability to apply large transaction quickly which is done by applier. Dependency computation parallelism of the mapping and applier performed outside of the database and can be offloaded to another, another server. The transaction integrity is maintained in this process. So this is really very important point. With parallel replicate, the transaction integrity is taken into account. Now there are two types of replicates. One is parallel integrity. So, so basically there are different types of replicate one is integrated and another one is non-integrated or classic so those run in non-parallel mode now you can run them in parallel mode so integrated mode running in parallel mode is called as parallel integrated mode so parallel integrated replicate is the one which which uh, what is parallel integrated replicate integrated replicate running in parallel mode is called as called as parallel integrated replicate what is parallel non-integrated replicate this is non-integrated replicate running in parallel mode now to 
use the parallel replica at your golden gate version hat has to be minimum 12.3 along with that if you want to use parallel integrated or parallel non-integrated replica for using parallel integrated replica the data the minimum database version should be 12.2 similarly for non-integrated replicate, for using parallel non-integrated replicate, the minimum database version has to be 12.2. So if you are using any database, if so, so if say for example your database version is 11.2.04, can you use parallel replicate? No. For using parallel replicate, the minimum database version has to be 12.1. You cannot use parallel replicate on the database version less than 12.1 but remember for 12.1 you can use parallel non-integrated replicate you cannot use parallel non-integrated replicate for database version 12.2 you can use parallel integrated replicate however the golden gate version has to be 12.3 in any case if your golden gate version is less than 12.3 you cannot use parallel replicate at all okay so the combination is for using parallel integrated replicate the minimum database version has to be 12.3 and database has to be 12.2 for using parallel non-integrated replicate the database version minimum has to be 12.1 and golden gate version has to be 12.3 minimum now the thing is remember one thing this parallel replicate feature is only available for oracle database i think in 21c i'll have to recheck but i remember there is a feature i think parallel replicate feature now has been extended to non oracle databases as well i'll have to check but i remember this is one of the new feature that parallel replicate support has now been included for sql server postgres db2 mysql and sql server database as well but that point i'll have to recheck i can confirm later on but until 19c golden gate 19c only parallel replicate was available until oracle data was available only for oracle database okay so let us configure parallel replicate how do we configure it and then another point what we are going to do is we will see how to upgrade existing replicate to the parallel replicate we will see that as well okay so we are going to two tasks we are going to create the parallel replicate and second thing is how we are going to upgrade existing replicate to the parallel replicate so you see this is rep nt01 which is running now there is no direct way we can upgrade this existing replicate to parallel replicate there is no direct way you will have to create the new replicate for it now remember one thing For parallel, so can anyone tell me how many characters you can provide maximum for a golden gate process so when you are creating extract pump or replicate maximum how many characters you can provide for a golden gate process does anyone eight. remember eight. 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 no we are not talking about trail file shaker we are talking about name of the process so name eight. of the process maximum can be eight correct okay so maximum number of the the name the uh, characters you can provide in the name of the process is eight characters right but in parallel replicate you can the maximum characters you can provide is five the name of the parallel replicate cannot exceed five characters equal to or less than five characters now the question comes why so as i told you golden gate parallel replicate has got mappers and appliers right now what happens is you say for example you create the process with the name parep this is the parallel replicate you are creating for example pre means parallel replicate suppose you created it with this is a parallel replicate you have created now what happens internally is as i mentioned you can define number of mappers you want to run and number of appliers you want to run so suppose you decided you want to run four mappers and four appliers suppose so what happens is internally golden gate you created the process parep right but this process get spawned into multiple processes so this is one process you create but parallelly internally it creates 
or get spawned into multiple processes so basically internally what happens is it creates like parep m00 parep m01 parep m02 parep m03 similarly parep a00 P-A-R-E-P A01 P-A-R-E-P We are able to send but uh, no screen P-A-R-E-P A03 So these are the processes which internally gets created Now what is this M and A So M stands for mapper and A stands for Applier. So what happens is depending upon number of appliers and mappers you have provided or are running, one golden gate parallel replicate process gets spawned into multiple processes. So what happens is M stands for mapper as I mentioned and A stands for applier. So because we have given that four mappers and four appliers should run for this PARP. So what happens is M00 means first mapper. M01 means second mapper m02 means third mapper m03 means fourth mapper similarly this is first applier for prep this is second applier for prep this is third applier for prep and so on so you can only provide maximum five characters for a parallel replicate but internally it gets spawned into number of multiple processes based on mappers and appliers being run running or defined in the parameter file so first mapper which runs is m00 and applier which runs is a00 so golden gate processes in parallel replicate get spawned into multiple processes now let us first of all create a parallel replicate now the, now our task is create a parallel replicate and second task is upgrade existing integrated replicate or any other replicate whether you are using classic replicate or non-integrated upgrade existing integrated replicate to parallel non-integrated replicate okay so for today's exercise we are following go to module 7 Module 7 is Data Transformation and Parallel Replicate. So in this, we are going to follow Activity Guide 22 first of all for the Parallel Replicate. Okay. So first of all, we will add the Parallel Replicate. So to add the Parallel Replicate, we will use the command. So we want to use the existing location from where your integrated repint01 is reading from right so stop repint01 stop your repint01 once it is stopped then add replicate replicate name parep for example as i mentioned you can give maximum five characters but prior to that we need to do db login as well whenever you are creating a process you need to do db login when you are creating extract or replicate so do info credential store so do db login user id alias source gg2 underscore pdb2 okay so you have now done the db login now do add parallel replicate sorry add replicate replicate name now we want to use the same upgrade the existing replicate to parallel replicate right so what you are going to do is you are going to provide the same location from where your existing replicate is reading the data from so your existing replicate is reading the data from this location data app oracle product ogg trg dir dat slash rt location so add replicate parep we need to give copy 
copy add replicate parep parallel and give the location from where it is going to read the data from okay add replicate replicate name parallel we need to give exe trail keyword as well exe trail okay parallel exe trail so when we add the replicate when we give when we use so so if we have to use say for example non integrated replicate so the syntax to add the non integrated replicate is add replicate replicate name exe trail and location of remote trail where data pump is writing data to right data pump from source similarly when you have to you create a integrated replicate the syntax is add replicate replicate name integrated so just when you use the keyword integrated in that case it becomes integrated replicate similarly when you have to create parallel non integrated replicate the syntax is add replicate replicate name parallel exe trail parallel exe trail so this is the syntax and when you have to create parallel integrated replicate in that case the the syntax is use parallel integrated so just before exe trail whatever you provide based on that that type of replicate it creates so by default it creates if you don't give anything it creates non integrated replicate similarly when you give integrated keyword it give it creates integrated replicate similarly when you give parallel only in that case it creates parallel non integrated replicate and when you give parallel integrated in that case it creates parallel integrated replicate okay now once you have done that after this another important thing i want to tell you that the the difference between these replicates is the non integrated replicate uses a checkpoint table uses a checkpoint table similarly parallel non integrated replicate also uses a checkpoint table but for integrated and parallel integrated replicate checkpoint table is not mandatory checkpoint table is not mandatory for integrated and parallel integrated replicate now the question comes what is checkpoint table so you must have heard about checkpoint files or we discuss about checkpoint files does anyone remember what are checkpoint files and uh, where do they reside can anyone tell me where what is checkpoint table what is checkpoint files and where do they reside dirch ke absolutely so each process in golden gate has a checkpoint file associated to it like replicate and uh, extract and pump process each process in golden gate has a checkpoint file associated to it and the checkpoint file resides inside dirch ke directory right now you you have got another thing in golden gate which is called as checkpoint table now remember each process in golden gate has a checkpoint file associated to it and it resides inside dirchk so basically the checkpoint file is used by or created for each and every process and it resides at operating system os level now checkpoint table what we are discussing right now resides at the database level it is part of the database and it is only used by replicate and integrated and so sorry non integrated and parallel non integrated replicate only 
okay integrated and parallel integrated replicate doesn't use checkpoint table now checkpoint table is kind of a auditing table which resides in the database and it is used by the replicate process so how do we create or add the checkpoint table so what you have to do is if you are using because we are going to create parallel non integrated replicate hence we need to create a checkpoint table first of all now by default the checkpoint table does not exist so you need to add the or create the checkpoint table now to create the checkpoint table you will need to log into the database and then execute the command add checkpoint table and you can give any name to this checkpoint table you can give any name to this checkpoint table so the name i'm going to give it going to reside under chsorgg2.chkpttbf so we are going to add the checkpoint table under the user chsorgg2 with the name chkpttbf it says successfully created checkpoint table so now let us go to the database So if you do select star from tab you will see that checkpoint table has been created just now so if you describe this table so you see you have got some columns like group name group key sequence number rba audit timestamp so this is kind of a auditing table to keep track of what all data has been applied and what all sequences has been read or what is the rb of the trail file which has been read so all those information gets recorded into the checkpoint table so this checkpoint table you can consider is kind of a auditing table now remember one thing i again repeat checkpoint table is only used by the replicat it is part of the database it gets created in the database this is what we have done now because we are going to create non parallel integrated replicate hence we need to use checkpoint table now once it is done we'll add the parallel replicate add replicate parep now because it is parallel non integrated replicate we'll just use parep sorry parallel ext trail and the location of ext trail from where it will read the data from and then you give checkpoint table c hash hash sort gg2 dot c hash hash source gg2 dot chk pt tbl enter so you see it says parallel replicate added so we are we have added the replicate parallel non integrated replicate which is going to read the data from the same location from where your integrated replicate was reading the data from okay now what we have to do is we have to upgrade the so so we have to upgrade the existing replicate to the parallel replicate right so how do we do is we we will start so what happens is when you create the new process like we have created parep by default it reads from the sequence 0 trail file and rba 0 what we have to do is info rep int 01 so the thing is rep int 01 has already processed seven trail file sequence number seven trail file until this rba so what we have to do is what we will be do is what we will do is we will alter this parep process to read from this sequence and this particular rba so that parallel replicate starts from the same point where rep int01 has stopped processing the data from so there will be zero data loss okay so how do we alter the process alter parep ext seqno 
it means sequence number 7 because it is rt007 so it will read from sequence number 7 and ext rba 2595 so what will happen now is your parep will now read the data from the same location from where rep int 01 has processed data until up to so now until this sequence and rba rep int 01 did the task from going forward parep will do the task for you so your existing replicate has been upgraded to parallel non-integrated replicate okay so now can i go ahead and start the parallel replicate parep what do you think can i go ahead and start no why uh, we have to edit the parameter file. Exactly. Each process in Golden Gate should be should have the parameter file associated to it. So we haven't created the parameter file, hence we need to do that. View param rep int01. So I'll copy these user ID part. Okay. Edit param. PARP. Okay, so process type is replicate and name is PARP. And user ID as ID alias we will give. Then we will we will give map underscore parallelism. Say for example, give a, give as four. Apply underscore parallelism. Say for example, we give six. So what happens is map underscore parallelism four means four mappers will run. Apply underscore parallelism six means six appliers will run. So it's not like you have to give same number of mappers and same number of appliers. You can have different number of mappers and different different number of appliers being provided or running in the replicate side. Now the thing is when you give map parallelism like this 4 and 6 apply parallelism as 6 so what does it mean that minimum number of app means uh, even though the load on the server is not that high still 4 mappers will continue to run same way apply underscore parallelism 6 means even though there might be less load on the system and even one Applier will do the same task as 6. But still, because we have provided 6 apply parallelism, it will continue to run 6 appliers. So, this is waste of resource. So, in Golden Gate, you have got another parameter which is called as max, sorry, min apply parallelism and max apply parallelism. Okay, so say for example, you give min apply parallelism as 2 and max apply parallelism as 10. So what happens is the appliers will range between 2 and 10. So depending on the need, those many appliers will, would run. So minimum 2 appliers would always run and maximum 10 apply, it would go up to 10 appliers. But based on the load, it can increase or decrease number of appliers which which it needs to run however remember one thing you can either use apply underscore parallelism or you can use min apply uh, you can use min or max apply parallelism okay so the difference between the two is if you use this apply parallelism always six appliers will run even though the requirement might be less but with this parameter min and up max apply parallelism the advantage is depending on the load on the system it will change itself so i can make it six and i'll come should this. replace the last line there's a plus sign there yeah. so you can use either apply parallelism or min apply and max apply parallelism okay and then we will give map statement view param rdp int 01 so this performance of integrated 
or parallel in uh, the performance of parallel integrated or parallel non integrated replicate the performance is almost five times faster okay so we have created the parallel replicate so we did two tasks right now first we learned about parallel replicate what is parallel replicate second thing is we created the parallel replicate and third is we learned how to upgrade existing replicate to the parallel replicate okay so do view param parep verify all looks good now we will start PREP. So another thing what we learned is how to upgrade existing REP INT01 integrated replicate to parallel non-integrated replicate. So what we did, we noted down until what point REP INT01 has read the data from and then we started the parallel replicate which we created from the same point onwards. Info all. Now we will start PREP. View report PREP. Okay, now if you see here in the report file, do you see it says spawned applier with PID? So there are four applier processes running and there are four mappers which are running. Four mappers and four appliers, you see, they are running because we give four and six. So Instead of starting six, it started four appliers or mappers as of now. So do info all. So your PREP is running now. So now what we can do, we can do some transaction on source. You will see that data will be replicated. I'll do insert into dpt11 values. I'll insert 80 sales Canada committed. So now you will see, let us verify if all the processes are up and running like pump. Yes, these are running. So go to target side and verify the data in DPT11. DPT22. Oh, CONN GG training. GG training too, sorry. C O N N G G training two slash welcome one and type PDB two. Okay. Now do select star from tab. So We'll do select star from DPT22. Uh, so see, 80 sales Canada has successfully been replicated. Same data if you see, select star from DPT underscore copy22. You will see 80 sales and today's date and my country is Canada, etc. has been replicated. Because we use call map in the previous session, right? So PAREP is also able to replicate the data without any concern. But if you compare parallel replicate with non-parallel replicate, you will see the difference. There is a lot of performance improvement with the introduction of parallel replicate. Okay. So 
any question related to parallel replicate or how to upgrade existing replicate to the parallel replicate so next we will discuss Ashish. about the exercise which we discussed in the last session but yeah prior to that i'll open the forum for question ashish i have one question uh, if my replicate is working fine without any latencies and stuff is it worth uh, upgrading it to parallel and See, the second question is uh, do we need to increase the memory on the server okay you know so, because every process will take memory have, so both questions are absolutely valid so the thing is do we need to upgrade the existing replicate to parallel replicate if the lag is not there in the system i would rather say here is like means if it's it depends on production if it's production or dev so i'll talk based on considering it's a production so until and unless you see see what is the purpose of parallel replicate first of all the purpose of parallel replicate is to improve the performance now if you are already are getting good performance without using parallel replicate then i would say like if i were in your place it's completely personal choice but again and until it is getting obsoleted i would suggest like no need to do that because the main purpose of using the parallel replicate is to improve the performance and if your environment is also is anyway showing good latency then it's not needed right now second thing is do you need some hardware or database course yeah, absolutely because the reason being it creates multiple processes and they consume memory so yes the answer to the question is yes second question okay thank you okay will there be performance difference if we use parallel integrated replicate over parallel non integrated replicate absolutely there would be parallel integrated replicate is also faster than parallel non integrated replicate when we have parallel replicate for long running transaction is there parallel extract available to now there are only two types of extract one is classic and second is integrated extract there is no parallel replicate okay okay so now let us discuss about the exercise which we were discussing in the previous session so the exercise was when a record is deleted from the source it should not be deleted physically from the target database only logically it should be deleted so basically it should be a soft delete so when a record is deleted from source delete underscore flag column value and target should be y so when when uh, whenever a record is deleted from source the delete underscore flag column value on target has to be y right which will signify that the row has been deleted from source database however when insert and update on source happens corresponding delete underscore flag row on target should have delete underscore flag as n okay so what we need to do how we can achieve it so to achieve this requirement we are going to follow these parameters update deletes allow dup target map ignore inserts ignore updates and ignore deletes we are going to discuss about that so what does update deletes do update delete converts the source delete statement to update on target set okay anyone has any idea how we can achieve that requirement so i again repeat when you are deleting a row from source it should not be deleted physically from the target database only logically it should be deleted and basically it should be a soft delete as basically it should be a soft delete anyone would like to answer this
so anyone anyone has any idea how can we achieve this requirement so guys we have a table dpt underscore copy to two and in that we have a column delete underscore flag right right so delete this delete underscore flag will signify whether the row is present on source or not so if delete underscore flag is y in that case it means that row has been deleted from source but if delete underscore flag is n it means that row is present on source database so what we are going to do is to achieve this requirement we'll have two separate blocks one is insert updates and no deletes in this block delete underscore flag will be n right in second block it would be no insert no update get inserts or oh sorry get deletes and then update deletes and then we give the delete underscore flag equal to y This will signify that the row has been deleted from the source database. Okay. Now what does update deletes do is it converts the delete operation of source to update on target side. So basically physically you are deleting a row from source. But when Golden Gate applies it, it will be deleted. That is not our requirement. Our requirement is delete underscore flag column value should be updated to Y. Right. So basically your delete underscore flag column as y will be the pointer to tell us whether row, present, row is present on source or not. Okay. Now, one more thing before I proceed with setting our replicate process is by default, the replicate process reads only first block for the same table. So, what will happen in our, in our parameter file now? multiple mappings or more than one mapping of an object will be shown or mentioned but what happens is by default if for the same object you have got two mappings by default golden gate replicate reads only first mapping it ignores the second mapping it ignores the second mapping for the same object so for that we have got a parameter called as allow dup target map allow dup target map so as the name suggests it allows duplicate target mapping of the same object so first this block is read and then this block for the same object is read so allow dup target map it allow duplicate target mapping of the same object in parameter so as I mentioned to you, by default, the, the replicate won't happen if you don't use this allowed of target map. What happens is, by default, it is going to read only this block. If you want to make your replicate process read the other block as well, then use the parameter allowed dup target map, which means that duplicate target mapping of the same object is supported in the replicate parameter fine so let us see how we do it okay so what i am going to do is we'll stop parep because we need to make the changes View report PRP. It's not stop. I think it will stop in next few minutes. 
oh yet so you see it is removing because there are multiple processes runs right so that's why okay now it is stopped now it is stopped successfully okay now edit param prep take the necessary approval always whenever you are working in production environment always follow the step what we have discussed while stopping the replicate so always take the necessary approval once the approval is in place take the backup of the parameter file and then go ahead and stop the process now we'll do edit param prep so in this file what will happen there will be two map statement so one would be which will be handling insert and update so get inserts and get updates by default will ignore the deletes here right in this scenario in this scenario we will also add delete underscore flag uh, it's delete underscore flag delete underscore flag equal to uh, when ignore it, it will be n when insert and updates are there right okay now the second block would be for ignore inserts ignore updates get deletes and then we are going to convert those deletes into update deletes now the thing is why do we need to use the parameter update deletes now suppose you have get deletes so what will happen as soon as from source one record comes it will be deleted from the target database we don't want to delete them that's the purpose if we delete then our purpose is defeated we what we want is those deletes should get converted to update on target so delete statement of source should get converted to update on the target side delete process of source should get converted to update on the target side that is the requirement okay and then we will give this map statement okay now what happens as i mentioned is we are providing same table get mapping for dpt underscore copy to to twice in the parameter file so what happens by default is replicate process reads only first mapping for the object so that it will be read only this particular mapping this mapping will be ignored by default so what we want is when insert and update comes this mapping should be read and when delete comes this particular mapping should be mapped so for that we have got the parameter allow dup target map allow dup target map so allow dup target map as it as the name suggests it allow duplicate target mapping of the same object it allows duplicate target mapping of the same object so as i mentioned why do we need this parameter i again repeat is because by default it reads only first map statement however in this case it will read both when we give allowed of target map
okay so we'll save it and close it now we will start parep info all so once this time change checkpoint is less than 10 seconds we can confirm that it is running yeah it is running okay now we'll do one transaction on source So this exercise, what we are discussing, we, we, we discussed or we mentioned it in the previous session and we are continuing this exercise in this particular session, right? So now I'll do insert. I'll do one insert first. Insert into DPT11 values. I'll insert 81 sales India. Commit it. So what will happen? This transaction will be captured by the extract process. You can verify the stats. Stats are shown since last restart. So these are any stats are there. Same with data pump process. When you go to target side, if you check whether the data has been re returned or not, you can do select star from dpt underscore copy to two. So we inserted 81 sales, right? So you see as per the mapping, so current timestamp has been mapped, has been written. Similarly, in the same parameter file, if you see view param PREP, we are using the same column names between source and target used by using use defaults. Then we are using source when we are then we are mapping source to target columns like D name one of target is getting mapped to D name of source location one is getting mapped to location. Then we are using the hard coded value for phone number always 999 will be inserted. Then here we are using golden gate built in function like string concatenation is being used on the string and the column value. Then city column we are using string up one function which converts all the letters the case of that particular column to uppercase using string up then we are using at the rate date now function which insert the latest timestamp in process timestamp so you see 81 sales and the current the time when the record got inserted based on ist indian standard time my country and everything so when we inserted the record on source you see delete underscore flag is updated as n this is what is required right so what happens is when insert comes based on this first block it applies the transaction it reads the second block as well but in the second block, it has we have ignore inserts. So in this, as per the second block, this insert statement will be ignored. So you can check stats PAREP. If you check stats PAREP, you will see two separate blocks in statistics. For the first block, if you see one insert has been applied, replicating from DPT11 to DPT22, one insert has been applied. But for the second block replicating from dpt11 to dpt underscore copy22 one ignore is there because we are using ignore inserts so both the blocks are read why because we are using allow dup target map it read this block as well as this block so based on first block it was able to apply the transaction based on second block we are using ignore inserts so the insert has been ignored so this is the desired value we have got so when insert comes record will should be delete underscore flag on target should be n similarly i'll do one update now i'll do update in department number 80 so update dpt11 set location equal to singapore i'm inserting in small case where 
department number is equal to 80 committed so now when you go to target side once the record gets applied so again what will happen based on the parameter file this will be applying the update but when it reads the second block you will have ignore updates so delete underscore flag should be applied as n see when insert comes n is there when update comes it's n now i'll delete a record i'll delete this record from source so you can check the statistics again so if you do stats parep So you see one insert and one update for the first block is there. However, for the second block, it's again it again is a ignore. Okay. Now we'll delete a record from source. Delete from DPT11 where department number is equal to 81. So now delete underscore flag should convert to Y. view param parep oh we didn't change it to y so it will still be n you see in the parameter file it should be y that is the requirement right but we didn't change it is still n so it will be applied but it will be applied as n 81 n you will see right so let me update the parameter file i'll again delete a record from source stop PARP edit param PARP Y. So delete underscore flag should be Y. So the older PARP when which, which we are stopping, it is still stopping. Like it takes few minutes or seconds due to like number of mappers and appliers being assigned. Okay, now it is stopped. Now you can go ahead and start PREP. Now we'll do another transaction. I'll delete the record with department number 80. is equal to 80 committed so now what will happen is if you look at the parameter file as per this parameter file first block it will be ignored ignore deletes will be there second block what it will do is it will get the deletes and convert the delete to update statement based on this so the delete statement from source gets converted to update on target and delete underscore flag becomes y. So now if we check the database, see, delete underscore flag is y. It means that this record no longer exists on source database. This record no longer exists on source database. Okay. So delete underscore flag y means your record has been soft deleted from the target database. Physically it is present on target database but logically it has been deleted signifying that this record is no longer present on the source database. So if you check the statistics now of PREB. See. Now again two blocks if you see, first block will say two deletes are ignored. Uh, so see, one ignore is there because we restarted the process right to make the change so since then total ignores are one for the first block and for the second block one delete has been applied 
Why it does that? Because we are using allow dupe target map. So allow dupe target map means duplicate target mapping will be supported in the parameter file. So basically you are using data manipulation. You are manipulating the data as per the business requirement in this particular scenario. Okay. Any question from anyone? Okay, so Any... in the next session, we are going to discuss about, so next session is tomorrow, same timing. So in the next session, we are going to discuss about performance metric server, monitoring the lag and heartbeat table. And if time permits, we'll also discuss about Golden Gate checkpoint. The next session is tomorrow, same timing and uh, it's on same link. So I'll be taking the question, but just if anyone wants to drop off if i if i'll uh, what we discussed in today's session is we discuss about the exercise which we discussed in the previous session when a record is deleted from source it should be deleted physically from the it should not be deleted physically from the target so we discuss about the usage of update deletes allow dupe target map in ignore insert ignore update ignore deletes we also discuss about parallel replicate which is one of the new feature in oracle golden gate 12c release 3. There are two types of parallel replicate, parallel integrated replicate and parallel non-integrated replicate. So we discuss about different parameters uh, of parallel replicate and also we discuss about how to upgrade, how to create a parallel replicate, how to upgrade your existing parallel replicate to parallel non-integrated or parallel integrated replicate. Okay, yeah. Uh, Someone had a question you can ask. Ashish, uh, this uh, particular thing like uh, you are uh, updating that flag, okay, delete, uh, update deletes. Uh, means it is uh, by that particular uh, column name only we will be able to know that, okay, this has been updated. No, I didn't understand. So what you mean? Uh, Ashish, you have uh, gone ahead for that particular uh, get deletes and update deletes, right? Right. Yeah. So uh, there is a column which defines that uh, whether this thing is, uh, whether this particular thing is been there, but it has been flagged as uh, deleted, right? right? Uh, signify significance uh, N and uh, for the, for not to delete that thing on the, uh, source side. Uh -huh. So uh, that particular thing uh, will be there, will be defined in that particular column or uh, means we will be able to see that thing from that only column that whether this uh, delete has been updated. So delete doesn't get updated. We are updating the deletes. So the logic yes, basically is, so the logic basically yeah. is delete is getting updated on the target, right? So the record is getting deleted. Yeah. But on target side, okay. if you see the column value is getting updated from n to y or null to y, right? Okay. So basically internally right. it is getting, this transaction is getting converted to update. So that's why we are using update. Details. Okay. 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 There is a question from Anoop, which says that, if we are inserting a record on source with department 81, which we just deleted, we will get one more duplicate record on target with N. Now it will overwrite the existing record because we don't want, uh, we have this primary key defined on department number. So if you have, it depends on the primary key. So in this scenario, because we have primary key, it will be, it will again become N in that case. There will be no duplicacy. Okay. Any other question from anyone? Guys, this is really very important and interesting uh, topic like what Golden Gate capabilities are and what Golden Gate can do, right? This parallel replicate or data manipulation or data selection, data filtration, these are the 
strength of golden gate which tries to show you what are the capabilities different capabilities of golden gate apart from doing one on one replication right okay so yes. if no more questions are there let us wrap up our session for today i hope guys you were able to follow the session how was the session right. were you able to follow yes ashish uh, work is good actually ashish but uh, uh, it is, this particular chapter is confusing little